Jason wakes up covered in sweat after a nightmare, so Marie comes to attend to him, noticing that he is burning up. Jason still has amnesia and constant flashbacks but still cannot put the bits and pieces together. Marie thinks that it might be just a dream but he tells her he is remembering a mission and he was there, so she tells him to write it down, alongside all the other pieces of memory he was able to uncover. In Berlin, Germany, a CIA team under Deputy Director Pamela Landy, is paying $3 million to an unnamed Russian source for the Nesky files, documents on the theft of $20 million seven years prior. The men carrying the money arrive at the location to carry out the deal, but at the same time, a Russian agent named Kirill breaks into the building and plant explosives on the power. Once the explosives go off, Kirill kills both the men before stealing the files and the money and manages to escape the building, meanwhile Pamela and her team are freaking out. Kirill arrives at a building where he meets with a wealthy Russian oligarch named Yuri, who had hired Kirill to carry out the mission. Yuri then sends Kirill on one more mission, this time after Bourne. Bourne is walking in the streets of India when he spots Kirill pull up in a vehicle and head into a store, and he knows that he is in danger. Jason rushes back to his jeep and speeds off to get Marie who is currently at the beach. Jason pulls up and gets Marie into the jeep telling her that their cover is blown. Kirill spots them and rushes to his car to give chase. As the two drive, Jason adds that he saw that same man twice and everything about him is just wrong. Kirill begins to give chase, with Jason trying to lose him in the dense traffic and side alleys. Jason switches places with Marie and grabs his gun, directing Marie on where to drive to get away. They lose him through a field, so Kirill grabs his rifle from his car and makes his way on foot. Born and Marie make it back onto the road, he wants her to go back to the house while he takes on the assassin, but she wants him to stop fighting. At that moment, Kirill gets to a point on the road and takes aim, shooting Marie fatally, causing the jeep to plunge into the water. Jason frantically manages to pull Marie from the jeep and tries to help her, only to realize that she is already dead and he is forced to watch her drift away. Kirill is on the bridge, but does not see Jason surface and thinks the mission is complete. Back in Berlin, the CIA is going over the scene of the failed transaction and manages to pull fingerprints from the scene and run it, only to see a treadstone block on the file. Back in India, Jason stares in shock as the jeep is pulled from the river. He then burns all of Marie's photos and papers, then begins to clear out the house of his cash and guns before heading out, as he plans to get his revenge. Meanwhile, Pamela meets with the CIA Director Marshall, revealing that they found prints on the scene but need access to Treadstone files which she gets. She is able to pull Bourne's photo and get files on the Treadstone program where she finds a link to Section Chief Ward. She sets up an interview with him where he thinks she is in over her head, until she reveals that the director gave her full access. Ward then reveals that Treadstone was a kill squad program which was shut down two years ago. Pamela insists, so Ward adds how Treadstone failed and he had Conklin killed to clean up the mess. He thinks Jason is off the grid somewhere but is shocked to learn that he was involved in the murder last week. Meanwhile, Jason arrives in Germany and is at the airport when his passport alerts the CIA system, and security take him into another room. Meanwhile, Pamela is briefing the heads of the CIA about the recent failed operation, and reveals to them that Jason Bourne was the assassin. She further reveals that Conklin was up to something, but mistakenly thinks that Jason and Conklin were working together and he killed the agents to cover up the evidence. They then learn that Jason's passport pinged in their system and they plan to reach out to their assets. Jason is being interrogated by a US official wanting to know why he is there, but Jason refuses to speak. The man then gets a call from a CIA agent alerting him to how dangerous Jason Bourne is, but Jason jumps into action and takes out the men. He taps the official's phone and then steals a car. The CIA reach out to the official who is just waking up, and Jason intercepts the call to hear Pamela, and hears that they suspect him of murder, and also that Pamela will be coming to Germany. Jason heads to Munich and on his way, he has a flashback of a mission where Conklin was there. Pamela and Ward meet with Nikki, former technician who worked with Treadstone to learn more about Jason and bring her with them to Pamela's Berlin office. Bourne arrives in Munich and locates Jarda, a former Treadstone operative, holding him at gunpoint and making him bound himself. Jason asks about Conklin and Treadstone but learns that it was shut down after Conklin's death. Jason thinks the CIA is after him and demands answers, but Jarda has no idea. The phone rings, distracting Jason and Jarda attacks him. The two struggle until Jarda pulls a knife but Jason beats him back. Jason then uses a magazine as a weapon and begins to expertly beat down Jarda. He gets the upper hand on Jason for a bit, but Jason manages to use a cord and strangle him to death. Jason knows agents are heading to the location, so he pops the gas line then makes his escape before the house blows up. He then gets to Berlin where he gets Pamela's hotel address. He heads there and manages to learn her room number and see her leaving the hotel with her bodyguards. He jumps into a cab and follows her to see where her office is located.
He then heads to the roof across from the building and begins to set up a sniper rifle with a direct view into her office. He gives her a call, wanting to know why they are after him. Pamela tells him about Berlin and that he killed two people, but based on his flashbacks, he thinks they are referring to a previous mission. He spots Nikki in her office then tells Pamela that he wants to come in. He then requests Nikki to meet him discreetly and when Pamela tries playing, he reveals that Nikki is standing right next to her, making them crap themselves. Ward insists that they do not go through with the meeting with Bourne, stating that he is dangerous, but Pamela insists on going through with the meeting. Nikki is at the spot with snipers and guards posted all around her. She gets a call telling to get on a passing tram where Jason has an eye on her discreetly. There is a protest happening around them, cutting the CIA visibility so they send in their men to get Nikki, but Jason grabs her and makes his getaway. Jason takes her underground to the train station, demanding to know why Pamela is trying to kill him. He learns about the hit in Berlin but tells Nikki that he was nowhere near Berlin at that time, and he thinks that the CIA had something to do with Marie's death. Meanwhile Pamela and the team are listening in on the convo, but lose connection when Jason takes Nikki into a bathroom. Jason learns more about the files that Pamela was trying to purchase, and discovers it had something to do with the mission in Berlin he keeps remembering, but Nikki tells him that he had never worked in Berlin before. Back at the Berlin office, Ward is still trying to push to get Jason killed, but Pamela wants answers not a body. Jason gets to a cafe where he begins to research the name Nesky, and learns that he was a Russian politician who was found dead in his hotel room and gets the name of the hotel. Meanwhile, Conklin's former assistant, finds inconsistencies with the report of Bourne's involvement with the death of the agent, and explains his theory to Ward, who suddenly pounces on him and kills him before he can report it to Pamela. Bourne then visits the hotel where the killing took place and begins to recall more of his mission. He breaks into the room, meanwhile downstairs, the hotel staff are alerted to his presence and the CIA and police race to catch him. Born is inside the room when everything begins to come back to him. He killed Nesky on Conklin's orders, and when Nesky's wife showed up, he shot her and made it look like she did it. Jason realizes that the police are on his floor, but he has already made it to the outside of the building and escaping down a fire escape just as Pamela and her team show up to the hotel. Two cops spot him and they chase Jason through the streets. He runs to a train station and loses the cops by running across the tracks and jumping onto a passing barge. The cops order the boat to pull over, but as it passes under the bridge, he hides there, before making it back to the train and finally making his escape. Ward gets back to his hotel where he contacts Yuri, telling him that they need to get rid of Bourne as Pamela is under them. As he sits there, Jason suddenly appears behind him having heard everything. Ward admits to Bourne that he stole the money, ordered Kirill to retrieve the files, and had Bourne framed before arranging for him to be killed. Jason is mad that they killed Marie as he fell off the grid and told them to leave him alone. Ward wants Jason to kill him, but Jason leaves saying Marie wouldn't want him to. Meanwhile, Pamela is making her way over to Ward's room to confront him about her suspicions, but before she gets there, he poisons himself then holds her at gunpoint when she enters. She asks him why he killed Danny but learns that he was just collateral damage before Ward shoots himself in the head. Jason takes his documents and boards a train to Moscow. Pamela returns to her office and finds a tape with the conversation between Ward and Yuri. When her team alerts her that they have a sighting of Jason getting on a train to Moscow, and Pamela alerts the Russian police. Jason gets to Moscow and takes a cab to the address of Nesky's daughter but learns that she has moved. The cab driver then gets a call from his colleague as the cops are tracking Jason and he takes off. Jason realizes what's happening and makes his getaway on foot, but Kirill who got news of his arrival has tracked him down and spots him walking away. Kirill shoots Jason in the shoulder but the cops turn up and arrest Kirill, who reveals himself to be a Russian federal agent. Jason heads into a store where he grabs a bottle of vodka and tries to get a cab. Cops turn up and try to arrest him but Jason knocks them out easily before stealing the cab. Kirill who is hot on his trail sees him making his getaway and steals a jeep to give chase. With the cops and Kirill on his trail, Jason manages to stay ahead of them until federal agents take over the chase. Kirill clips his car but Jason stops from spinning out and stays ahead of them, driving directly into a busy highway and getting smashed but pushing the battered cab to its limits. Kirill catches up to him in a tunnel and tries shooting him and running him off the road but Jason shoots out one of his tires, pins him with his car and drives him directly into a divider. Jason comes out holding him at gunpoint but realizes that Kirill is near death anyway and decides to leave him there. Yuri and his men are then arrested, with Pamela watching in the background. Jason breaks into Nesky's daughter's apartment frightening her, but tells her he is not here to hurt her. He remembers her from the night and confesses that he was the one who killed her parents, and apologizes to her before he leaves. Later in New York City, Bourne calls Landy. She thanks him for the tape, reveals to him his original name, David Webb, and his date and place of birth, and asks him to meet her. Jason, 
who is watching her from a building, tells her she looks tired and to get some rest, as he disappears into the city. Remember to turn on notifications, so you can watch more movie recaps like this. Thanks for watching.